Hi guys, it's Ellie. So today's video is going to be a little bit different because today is going to be a vlog. I am going on a trip. My friend is getting married and we have to go to Utah for the wedding. And also we have family in Utah so we we're just gonna visit them while we're there. So we are taking a little road trip, which are my favorite, I love road trips. Um, we're taking a little road trip to Utah and I thought that I would just videotape the whole trip for you guys so you could see it and have a little vlog for this week. I know it's a little bit different, but we're gonna have lots of fun and I will try to film as much as I can and put it all together for a vlog. So I hope you guys enjoy. We're only about halfway, so we still have basically everything we just did to go. Every time we see a sign that advertises some like place you can go to, uh, um, like at an exit, like some museum or some event place or something, my mom is like, "Let's go." Like, oh. Eisenhower, no, Dwight D. Eisenhower's library. No, it's gonna be enough for me today. guys so just a little update I'm sorry if I'm quiet and everything else is loud but like we have the windows open and I'm trying not to be heard by people and we have been stopped for the last how long have we been here 20 minutes 
No. At least the car can be off and resting. Okay, so we've been stopped here for a long time because there was an accident like way up there and apparently it was like really, really bad and they're having to like clean stuff up. And so we are stopped here and we don't know when we'll be allowed to like go again. And so this is a really big, um, We're thinking I guess setback or whatever, but we left really er pretty early this morning. We're just thinking our lucky stars, we're not in the accident. Yeah, good. yeah, that's what we're thinking. All right, so while we're here and while my mom is really, really bored, we are going to play a little game. Not truth or dare. Not truth or dare. Good. I'm not gonna go lick the toilet or something like that. Where do you see a toilet? <laughs> that's the problem. Okay, so we are going to play a game of who is more likely to. Okay, and I know most people would play this with like their significant other or like their friends or their sisters, but I don't have that here today. I have my mom. So while we are here waiting and doing absolutely nothing, we're going to play who is more likely to together. I'm sorry if you think this is boring or whatever. You're not as bored as we are. Okay. And hot. Yeah. So the first question is... Who is more likely to give all their money to charity? Three, two, one. Me. Yes. <laughs> Only because you do that now, but charity means like random people that you find. Yeah. Who is most likely to rule the world? Oh, that would be Ellie. <laughs> I just think, I think that you would be a really hilarious um, ruler of the world, but also I think that I would be, I'm more likely to be the ruler of the world. But I don't rule anything. Not brownies, not girl scouts. Nothing. It's a quote from a movie. Oh, what movie? The Princess Diaries. <laughs> Who is most likely to blow all their money on an impulse buy? Three, two, one. Mom. <laughs> Mom, what's your impulse buy? Doterra. Doterra. <laughs> oh, no, 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 BB. We always joke around because my mom loves Doterra and spends a lot of money on it. Most likely to have a million followers on social media. Yeah, we've seen my Facebook page. <laughs> I don't know. So basically what we've learned within the first five is that you're better at spending and I'm better at clout. Yeah. Well, according to our opinions, you might have a different opinion. Next. No, we're tied in all our votes, too. Oh, yes. Who's most likely to cancel plans? <laughs> Mom. <laughs> Who's most likely to cancel plans at the last second? Mom. And I'm laughing because she does this all the time to people and they get so mad. Oh my gosh. Can't help that I changed my mind. Who's the most... <laughs> it's spontaneous. <laughs> Who's most likely to be the first one to die in a zombie apocalypse? <laughs> Who's most likely to be the first one to die in a zombie apocalypse? Um, you, because I'm cowering behind you. <laughs> <laughs> First of all, <laughs> excuse you, I would say that it would be me, but also, I think that's a toss-up. I think they'd take us at the same time. If I have fly, open the door right now! The windows are open! Yeah. Open the door because it gives me more space to get out of here! Ah! Now it's in the back! Oh! I have to roll the windows up. Where is it? I don't know. Flies are evil! Bugs are evil! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, wait, I'm open the door. Who is most likely to start an argument? Oh yeah. Do you want to tell them what you did this morning? <laughs> no wait, I thought that was the other day. About the cowboy? Oh! Yeah, that first was of all, it's definitely you because you started an argument with me yesterday and you started an argument with me today and you were wrong both times. Yeah, but it's hot. Then hold down the windows. The, the fly is not going to hurt you. Hi guys, so I'm just going to do an update and a quick little story time so you guys can like understand how I'm possibly feeling right now. We left Denver, or wherever we were, we left Denver at 7 a.m. 7 a.m. in the morning, okay? And Denver to Salt Lake, like where we were trying to go, what is my hair doing? Stop! 
Colorado to Utah, the trip that we always do is literally, I kid you not, an eight hour drive. It is 5 p.m. and we still have three hours to go. <laughs> We are those people that anything that possibly can go wrong to you will go wrong. Here we are on our way, our merry way, and we're driving and we're like, okay, we have a couple routes we can go. We can go through the mountains uh, in Colorado or we can go through Wyoming. But anyway, several of us, we were, we were talking to each other, we had this discussion, we were like, oh, the mountains is going to add way too much time, too traffic -y, too dangerous, and so we were like, let's go through Wyoming. And then we're going through Wyoming and we're like, we left so early, we have all the time in the world, let's stop for a hike. So we find this hike that my mom wants to do, and um, of course, of course, you would have to pay for parking. That's fine. Cool. We have cash. We only brought cash. So then we go on this hike, and obviously it's nine dollars, but they don't accept cash. You only have to pay with card. So then we have stopped and literally rearranged everything in our car and been at this place for like a good long time and took this entire long detour. We took literally a half hour detour to get to this hiking place, and then we couldn't even do the hike. And then we get stopped behind this accident. You guys probably saw that footage for literally an hour and a half. So we're already lost two hours. And then the other two hours came from the millions of stops that we've been taking and the length that our stops are taking us. We're having a great time, okay? Nobody can steal my vibe from me. Hi everyone, so if you made it to the end of the video, you have just watched part one of the vlog for the road trip to Utah. I made it two parts because honestly, I know none of you wanted to watch an entire video of just a road trip, but I thought it was funny and we got a lot of good footage there. So that is part one, just the road trip. And then all of the, the activities that we do on the road trip is gonna be part two and possibly part three, I don't know yet. But you guys just watched that. A little update because it kind of ends on a cliffhanger. So we had two days of travel. The first day we were traveling from Kansas to Colorado. And then the second day of travel we were traveling from Colorado to Utah. We made it to Utah. We were so tired that we just slept um, that Friday night. And then Saturday we didn't really do much in the morning. We just had a quiet morning. Um, and then we went straight into the wedding, which you guys will see footage of if you watch part two. And then I'll show you like the days after that. So the wedding would be technically like day one slash day three. And then we'll go from there and you guys will see that footage. So go watch part two. If part one made you really, really bored, give part two a try. I'm sure it'll be more exciting. Thanks guys.